Good afternoon, Mr. President, members of the press. President Ahmed Abdi Akariri and your team, I wish to thank you for the warm reception extended to us today. I'm undertaking today's visit to Dusa Mareb, Galmadug, together with the special representative of the chairperson of the African Union Commission and head of Amazon, Ambassador Francisco Madeira. Also, the e European Union Deputy Head of Delegation to Somalia, Nicole Miller, and the Intergovernmental Authority for Development Representative, Noor Abdi Isim. As you are aware, at the end of the National Consultative Council Conference on 27 May, Somali leaders reached an agreement 
outlining implementation modalities for the September 17, 2020 electoral agreement. This is an important milestone of the consultative process that started last July here in Dusamareb. The 27 May agreement was a result of productive engagement between the federal member state leaders and the federal government in consultation with other key political actors. We now encourage Somali leaders to sustain this momentum and to move forward with preparations for the holding of elections. In this regard, we urge Somali leaders to continue with regular meetings of the National Consultative Council to drive this process forward. During our meeting with President uh, Abdi uh, Karim, we discussed the next steps in implementing the 27 May communique. We also spoke of the importance of ensuring electoral security arrangements are in place and welcomed Somali security forces' efforts in fighting al-Shabaab in Galmadug. It is imperative that the Galmadug administration, security forces, and local communities work together to make the elections happen in a safe and secure environment. We reiterated the need for every necessary step to be taken to implement the women's 30% quota in the elections of both Houses of Parliament. During the meeting, we also underscored the importance of promoting dialogue at all levels. We acknowledged both the progress and the challenge of local, local reconciliation efforts and informed the President of our commitment to the government and people of Galmadug to build on the progress already made in the state. Mr. President, once again, we are very grateful for the warm reception. We will remain engaged with you and your team and we will support your efforts to facilitate the holding of credible and peaceful elections in Somalia. Thank you, Mr. President.